There are different ways to measure central tendency and we will look at a couple of them in this video. 4, 7, 1, 8 and 10. How do we find the mean and the median of this set of numbers? We have seen that the mean equals the sum of values divided by the number of values. Sum of these five values divided by the number of values in the set. The sum of these five numbers is 30 and as there are five values, the mean will equal 30 over 5 which equals 6. The mean or the average of this set of numbers is 6. To find the median, we arrange the terms in ascending order. We write them as 1, 4, 7, 8 and 10. And after arranging it in the ascending order, the median is simply the value that lies exactly in the middle. It's 7. It has two values on its left and two on its right. 7 is the median of this set of numbers. It's different from the mean but both values pretty much give us the central value of this set of numbers. But why do we need the median? Isn't mean enough? Let's take an example to understand why we need the median. Assume you have a group of people at home and you wish to play a TV channel which will have the maximum number of people entertained. The ages of the people are 8, 6, 6, 10 and 85 years respectively. To entertain maximum people, you decide to find a central value of the ages listed here. You decide to find the mean age. Arithmetic mean is the sum of values divided by the number of values. The sum is 8 plus 6 plus 6 plus 10 plus 85. And the number of values is 5. The sum equals 115. So the mean age would be 115 divided by 5. The result you get is very interesting. 5 times 23 is 115. You get the mean age as 23 years. With this, you decide to play a movie which would appeal to an audience aged around 23 years. Now look at this scenario again. We have 4 kids and 1 senior citizen in the group. And we are getting the mean age approximately equal to that of a college graduate. Does the mean represent the group well? Will the kids enjoy that movie? Probably not. And will grandpa be able to stay awake? Unlikely. In this case, the mean is not a good representation of the central value. And that is because this data is skewed by this one value. But wait, what will be the median age? For that, we will have to arrange the ages in ascending order. So we write it as 6, 6, 8, 10 and 85. It has 5 values and the one in the middle will be the median age. It will be 8 years as it falls exactly in the middle. Two values on its right and two on its left. So the median definitely gives us a far better representation of the age of the people of this group. Most of the people are around this age and you realize that Cartoon Network is most suited for majority of the audience. And there is also a very good possibility that grandpa enjoys cartoons as well. This was one of the examples in which the median made more sense. Next, we will understand what skewness means.